The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast... Lumos. Revelio. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities oh, like that, inside and outside of the castle. Stippies make you jump! <laughs> oh, no time to waste. You've classes to attend. Ah, good timing opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross station, so to speak. We're quite fortunate school That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extent... We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Exploring ruins? Well, I presume... Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. 
Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you... I wouldn't say I chose the Dragon's Path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field gun? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in study. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... Ex yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you... Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle. Why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I put my hand up and said we had a griffin come by our street once and tried to get our rabbit. My sister has run out of Rebellion.
What are you up to now? good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise good. Now, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso! <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Form. I know. Protego! Protego? Okay, so. Levioso! A perfectly executed Levioso. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and them. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. 
everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I didn't expect a new student. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Excellent. New. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to... Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today... Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. You can't imagine how inconvenient... Nice to see you, Revelio. friend. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. 
Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Akio on Akio. one of the spheres and... The... That's it! Stay focused! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will, but instead of throwing... Splendid! Excellent control there. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What's Akio. Let us see this.
That is how it's done. Akio. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Misha. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new... Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, but it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. Is Wagadu a castle? Like Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle. I remember the first time I saw it, the mi and then it just materialized before me. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu used You can cast spells without a wand. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is with that. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of you. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. A if word, so if you would. You wanted to speak? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to ex- Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly- What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gift. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is- <clears throat> Now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction- out 
Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment 